Hello everyone, I am Bradley Sword, Associate Professor of Computer and Information Science at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, Illinois. In this video today is a little different than my normal lecture videos. I'm just going to show you the quick and dirty of how to do Advent of Code 2020, the day one activities. And I'm going to do it in both C++ and Python, give you two different languages that do the exact same thing. So as it comes down to it, this problem, you can read it out, you can go to the website, you can do whatever. I'm not here to necessarily describe every nitty gritty detail, but it comes down to you are given a file that has uh, 200 numbers in it, and your goal is to figure out which of the two numbers you can sum together to make 2020, and then multiply those two numbers together to get your correct answer. And when you do this, I already have the answer, I'll give you da 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 da, the answer is 902,451. So let me go ahead and show you how to go ahead and do that. I'll do it in C++ first, and then I'll do it in Python. Okay, so here we go. So here's our setup. Close down this real fast here. So again, my goal here is not to make the coolest looking best code ever, most efficient. My job is to get the job done as quickly as possible. So I have this file called data ext that I have saved in both of the locations where these files are going to go. I already set that up for us. But what I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to set up an input file, input file stream. I'll call it file, and I will call it data.txt. And I'm just going to forego all the other stuff. Just say that's all the other tests that I would do. And I would just say while file.eof uh, equals false. And then I also need a vector of ints. And I'll call it v. And I'm not going to worry about reserving or anything like that. And I will go ahead and I'll set up an int. I'll just call it a. I'll just say, okay, file. Oh, yeah. From file to a. And then I will say v dot pushback. And I will say pushback a. And just to try this out, just to make sure it works, I will run it. I will take a look. I'll hit the breakpoint. I mouse over and my v is 200. Yes, I'm expecting there to be 200 values inside of there so we're in a good spot so now just to finish things up before we move over to Python and now it's just a matter of going ahead and saying for every integer in the in V and then for every integer in V but, uh, if uh, I guess maybe have fun with this if a plus B equals 2002 then print out a times b and give me an end line that's it done and whoops maybe not right so expecting i was expecting a different number than that oh it's late how about it's 2020 not 2002 you guys remember 2002 there we go so there's my number, 902451. That's the answer that I was expecting to see. So that's how I would do this in C++. And so now we just have the now we just have to do this over in Python. And it's the same basic idea. I can just say, okay, let's take the file, let's file data And again, uh, Python is not my native language, so if there's a better way to do this, just like this, I need to set up my vector or my um, my list. I hate Allison for that. I have an empty list, and then I'm going to say for every single what's I mean? for every single string s that is inside of f f. I am going to go ahead and okay v dot append. And I'm going to basically take the integer version of whatever comes in, and I'm going to split off. Or is it? I'm going to strip off. That's split. I am going to strip off the new line characters because in Python everything comes in, every line comes in one by one by one in a for loop as a string. I can take the string, cut off the new line character, and then I can go ahead and turn it into an integer and then put it into the list. I know it's, it's probably a much simpler way. Right now it is beyond my, also 1230. Let me just make sure I close off this and let's just see if I'm doing it right. And then it's the same code as uh, the C++ if I go on for me. And then I can just say uh, print, print D. Let's see what. Nope, I have an invalid syntax. 
f.close. I think I'm missing a, something. There we go. So there's my, I'm just missing something everywhere because I'm a programmer. I screw up all the time. Okay, so there is my list of the 200 items. Print it out all nice and easy. And I can basically kind of take what you see here and just say for every A that is B. I got it. So used to for every B is in V. If B A plus B is equal to 2020, make sure to do it right this time. Uh, print A times B. I, I have a cut on my finger, that's why it's hard for me to type. I don't know what <laughs> explains all the other brain. But I run this and you see there's my 902, 451. It comes up twice because A plus B is the same as B. So there. Then However many lines of code in both Python and C++, there we have part one, which is just say when two of the numbers add together to make 2020. And I can do the extra part here in no time at all because I can, the other one just says for three numbers, what happens, and look at this, it's done. It only took me less than a minute. And again, I was my, <laughs> the cut on my finger was the only thing keeping me away from finishing this thing in one minute earlier -ness. and so there we go right and there we go it comes up six times because now there's six different ways a b and c come up there's my answer eight five 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 four seven zero and the same thing goes here all i have to do is say for every c and v add this move this over and just add the plus c and then oops plus c and then the multiply by c there is oops and v there is the same number, just make sure to get here we go. Then there we go, that's everything. Part one, part two to day one of the uh, advent of Code 2020 challenge. Problems get stupid hard after the first couple days. So this is, it's nice to have something to kind of ease you into the competition, into the puzzle solving. I think it was a fun exercise, especially for this, like, <laughs> this took me a little bit to figure out. It's been a while since I've used Python. I remember that file access is challenging sometimes. But anyway, uh, thanks for following along. And again, if you have a better way to do this, not necessarily in C++, I just If you know a better way in Python, put a comment. Send me an email, something. Give back to me. But thanks for sticking with it. I don't know how many of these I'm going to do. I'm going to do it till it's... it's that it's no longer trivial, maybe the first couple, three, fun. But uh, thanks again. Great day. Hope to see you.